So let's say that we had, let's do a couple of examples, um, uh, not of parallel intersecting and coinciding, but of writing equations of lines. So if I wanted to write an equation of the line in slope intercept form, and slope intercept form, remember, is y equals mx plus b, and I wanted to write an equation of the line through these two points in y equals mx plus b form. So what I would do is, first of all, I want to think y equals something x plus something. We need to fill in those somethings. The first something is your slope. Well, I'm not given my slope, but I need to find my slope. So slope, remember from a previous lesson, is y is minus. So m is going to be 7 minus 1 over our x is minus 4 minus a negative 2. So that's going to be 6 over 6, which equals 1. So my slope is 1, so we can fill that in. Now, my other one we don't know either, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take our point slope form, y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1, and we're going to plug in what we know. We know that the slope is 1, so we can plug that in. This is going to be y minus, and now we need to plug in our y1, and then we're parentheses x minus and whatever our x1 is. Now, some people get worried, which point do you use? And it does not matter which point you use. Both points will give you the same exact answer. In fact, let's do one of each. So y minus and then equals 1, x minus, like that. So let's do one of each. So on this one on the left here, we're going to plug in 4, 7. So we have 7 goes with my y, right, because that's my y, and 4 goes here. And on this one here, we're going to plug in a 1 and then a negative 2. Okay, so this gives me y minus 7 equals, uh, distribute the 1, I get x minus 4, add 7 to both sides, and I get y equals x plus 3. And so notice that my 3 goes here. So let's figure that out over here now. Let's do our distribute of the 1. So y minus 1 equals, distribute the 1, you get x minus negative is plus 2. Add 1 to both sides, and you get y equals x plus 3. Notice we got the same answer both ways. So it doesn't matter which point you use. Okay, so my answer then is y equals x plus 3. Now, when you do your own problems, you don't have to plug in both numbers unless you want to double check your work. But uh, you just need to choose one instead, okay? Now, let's do this next one. We want to write uh, an equation of the line in slope intercept form where the x intercept is 4. So, if the x intercept is 4, if we were to draw this, we would have x intercept starting at 4 and y-intercept is at negative 2, and so that's my line right there, okay? So what point is that? This is at 4, 0, and this is at 0, negative 2. So there's my two points. So if we're doing y equals mx, we need to find our m, x plus something, our y-intercept. Now we're told our y-intercept is negative 2, so I can just go ahead and fill that in. We need to find our slope, though. So I can find my slope by using the two points that I got from the x and the y intercept. So I'm going to subtract my y's, so negative 2 minus 0 over subtract my x's, 0 minus 4, so negative 2 over negative 4, which is positive 1 half. So that's positive 1 half, and now I know my answer. My answer is this right here, y equals 1 half x minus 2. And there we have it.